with Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episode eight of Smile Down the Runway. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Because um, I, I really thought what they would have did with this week's episode is showing the last few minutes of last week's episode and then Ito like finally answering, but you no. Know, because he's gonna find out in this episode and I'm not ready. She made it too hard. He's the one who's going to die. But she was thinking of you guys. She wasn't being selfish. It seemed selfish, but... Now that she got that out of her system. They never really, truly said what was wrong with her, but maybe the manga goes a little more in depth with it. Sorry about that.
There's just that feeling. People just know. I can't even be happy right now, Virtue. You can't even go out of fucking Paris. Jesus Christ. No, don't think that. Just pray that your mom can get recovered and release, like ASAP. It's gonna be fine. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of money. <laughs> there is always that one girl who is so easily distracted and in love with this. <laughs> No, I mean, that is honestly. Seriously? So? Well, wait, you don't let him finish explaining first before you say anything else.
so what if you just don't have the time? Think about that real quick. Just think about it. Think about the pros and cons of working with them. I feel like he if he was here just to talk to him. I don't know. It, he, it's going to have to do something with Kokoro, isn't it? I mean, no offense, that's a little bit of hush money in a way. Because people are corrupted, that's what they do. It's only natural. Think about your mom and your family before you think about yourself. Well, yeah, she doesn't really know how hard Kokoro is working, but she read about that. It's up to you. No matter what, there's pros and cons with whatever he chooses. He says yes to whatever. It's just up to him. <laughs>
might not even want to talk to her because of the deal that, you know. Mm -mm. But you may also want to talk to your freaking manager, too. Too much stress. And took it out on her. But you need to talk to someone. You can't keep this all bottled up inside. You've already lashed out on your sister. She'll be able to turn you up.
seriously? Yes, you can! Oh my god, that was needed after this episode. I mean, yes, like, the first half of this episode was very oh, sad and depressing. I mean, honestly, in, like, the first few minutes, I dead-ass thought that their mom died. I was like, oh my god, I was like, shit, like, I don't know how to feel, but then once the doctor said that she was okay, I was like, oh, thank god, because... I don't know how I truly would have felt continuing this show with the fact is because their mom was so interesting and sweet and the letter. Oh my God. Like to know that I was thinking, I was like, Oh my God, these are her final words to her kids. I was like, Oh God. I like, I knew it was going to make my eyes cry. But just like, Oh my God. That just tore at my soul. But like everything's okay now. And the fact that he's going to be able to get money for his mom. It just makes me wonder if he's going to be able to get his job back. That's the biggest thing that I'm kind of wondering. He has $2 million yen, which is good, but that goes to his mom. Plus, he'll still have money left over for his design and everything. But it's just like, is he going to be able to get his job back? That's the biggest thing I just want to know. He deserves to have his job back. I don't know about with Ayano, because I, I still feel some type of way with Ayano. I mean, he's... He's the type of person who is, he's interesting, but his attitude is more of, the way he talks and stuff is more of nice and nasty, where he's nice to you, but his demeanor and the way his, um, his wording and everything is more nasty, but he does it in a very nice way. But then there are times where he's a little too, like, professional up in your face like let me say how I truly really feel at this moment there are some times where I do agree with Ayano and what he says and then there are times where I'm like uh uh there were parts in this episode where yeah like the things that he did say but it's just like god damn like for something like that for so many things that happened to Samara or Ito, and it's going from bad to worse. Like, one good thing came out of it. And it's the same thing for Chiyuki. Even though we just didn't get to see the whole thing, I would have loved a whole freaking episode of her in Paris going to all the agencies, just traveling around, like, being away from home, not stressing out, but in a way she was because of the fact is no matter where she went for an agency, they still said no to her. And they were like, we don't even want to see you walk. We just want you to, we don't want nothing to do with you. You're short. What can you do? That's the biggest thing. And so, yeah, of course she's going to feel um, upset about herself and the fact that she's not, you know, six foot or even 5'10", like me, or 5'11", and stuff like that. You just feel like, you don't feel like your biggest cheerleader anymore. You just feel so abruptly upset and you just, you're like, I need to talk to someone. So I'm glad that everything happened the way it did. I'm glad that Kokoro was able to really speak out because Kokoro needed that. I hate the fact that, you know, with both Kokoro's manager and Ayano, just the, the way that people are so corrupted and they're so easily to corrupt someone else in this show or really just any show entirely, even in the real world today, how corruption is so easily done that, you know, you just don't know what could happen because, like, you know, you're signing a deal with the devil and then you're paying for it like the rest of your freaking life and I mean yeah he's 
someone who's poor and he needs money desperately and quitting a job and then to work multiple jobs like that's not always going to be able to work for your mom and then not only to have money for yourself but sometimes sacrifices are necessary and I'm glad everything is just going out for the good for the better for him and also to Yuki it's just mm, positive outbringings for the rest of the show but other than that guys that is my reaction review towards episode 8 of Smile Down the Runway if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys for sure on next, um, next Wednesday, next Friday for episode 9. Bye, guys.